Hello everyone and welcome to another marvellous video. While villains like Dr. Octopus, Venom and Green Goblin take the place of formidable Spider-Man villains, Chameleon is yet to share a similar limelight. Created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, Dmitry Smirnikov, aka The Chameleon, was introduced to comics in 1962's Amazing Spider-Man issue number one and can be noted as one of the earliest villains of Spider-Man. Known for his ability to take the form of anyone he desired, writers and artists had all the liberty to experiment and explore different story arcs with this villain. Later, there were many iterations and modifications to Chameleon's abilities. From being able to master a disguise, he was transformed into a shapeshifter. Now, with all that said, let us dive into today's Today's video and learn the anatomy of the man whose life transformed from being a nobody to being everybody. And before we go into the video, we have a small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to the channel. It's a small click for you, but for us, it means an awful lot. Thank you very much. Now let's begin. Chameleon, stop! Whoa, nice haircut. Who is Chameleon? How does he become the perfect impersonator? No criminal is born evil. It's all about the minute events that set them apart and send them down the wrong path. The events that led to the transformation of the Soviet citizen named Dmitry Nikolaevich Smerdyakov into the chameleon began at quite a young age. Dmitry was the half-brother of Sergei Kravinov, aka Craven the Hunter, as they shared the same father. Dmitry's mother was a servant girl named Sonia Smerdyakov. Throughout his youth, he was taught to hate himself after he arrived in the Kravinov home. Not only did his father hate the very sight of him, but his mother also considered him a humiliation. The only member of the family who could barely tolerate him was Sergei, who did not shy away from any opportunity to abuse him either. With time, Dmitri developed an extremely repressive personality and believed Sergei to be his friend. He had excellent impersonation skills and entertained Sergei and the others to impress them. At one point, Dmitri was approached by a notorious man named Gustav Fiedler who was highly impressed by his ability to disguise himself. Gustav took the young boy to his brother Karl, aka the finisher, who took charge of sharpening these skills of Dimitri's in a school of cover arts. In this academy, Dimitri was trained along with other children to become perfect impersonators and sleeper agents, codenamed chameleons. Eventually, Dimitri proved to be the best among the lot and the only chameleon left in the academy. The methods of disguise were mainly with the help of costumes and makeup to conceal his identity. He also wore a multi-pocket disguise vest that could carry materials needed for transformation. Cause you didn't know where to look. Does he have superhuman ability? As mentioned, Chameleon didn't have any superhuman powers but had excellent impersonation and disguise skills. He relied on makeup and costume, which he could switch to impeccably and fast. However, he later undertook certain surgeries that granted him the super ability to change or impersonate by sheer willpower. Dimitri's epidermis and skin pigmentation were surgically and mutagenically altered with the help of a serum that granted him the ability to take on the appearance of any person at will. His costume fabric was made of a memory material that responded to his nerve impulses and could also change its appearance by sheer willpower. Chameleon's physical strength was also revealed to be augmented after he took the same serum that Craven had taken over the years. However, his strength was far less than that of Craven's and definitely not superhuman. Later at some point, he was also brought back to his powerless state as he was before the augmentation. What biological changes happen when he uses his microcomputer belt? Chameleon went ahead with several upgrades to fine-tune his art of disguise. At some point, he obtained a unique belt buckle with the microcomputer installed within it. The belt had three main functions that ultimately enhanced smoother transitions. It had a video scanner receiver that recorded and analyzed the details of a person whom the chameleon wanted to impersonate. It copied every detail, including facial features, following which the data was fed into the visual synthesizer that interpolated all the details of the target, replicating them using electric impulses. Needless to say, the microcomputer had a memory bank that could store all the images and facial features of these targets. Hence, once Chameleon's microcomputer belt buckle copied the details, it remained giving him the opportunity to replicate those features anytime he pleased. The belt also utilized holographic image technology, which helped him recall any image of the individual 
individual he wanted with a code tap on the belt's keypad. Soon it sent subtle electrical signals that triggered changes in Chameleon's body and facial appearance. Next, a secondary signal altered his clothing to match the appearance of this target. The most intriguing part of the belt was that it allowed him to appear as two different individuals to two separate individuals simultaneously. Does he use the mask of a human face? As mentioned earlier, Chameleon, in his early days, began his career by using masks that could be formed into the lifelike copy of a chosen person's face. His then belt buckle could emit a spray with a special gaseous chemical that could dissolve the mask in order to be used again for different facial appearances or his constant normal white mask. Although there wasn't much technological advantage, like his modern computerized belt buckle capable of rendering two different images at two different angles, it could pull off the transition smoothly and quickly. Does his body release toxic gases? If the copying appearances of individuals is not enough, Chameleon's tech could render his opponents unconscious for long hours with a unique toxic gas. He used a small aerosol that could emit a cloud of mist of potent, undetectable anaesthetic gas that could knock his victims unconscious for a span of 1 to 10 hours. This device could launch the chemical spray and reach a target as far as 10 feet away. Does he have shape-shifting ability? With comic book writers having the liberty to showcase different versions of popular characters, a different version of Chameleon, who had the ability to shape-shift, was showcased. Created by Brian Michael Bendis and David Lafuente, the shape-shifter version of Chameleon was also showcased in 2010's Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 2, Issue 11. He came from Earth 1610, better known as the Ultimate Universe. Chameleon, along with his sister Camellia, was an enigmatic, energy-wielding shape-shifting thief addicted to mutant growth hormone. Chameleon not only had the ability to shape-shift, but could also deliver powerful energy blasts. The blast was so powerful that it incapacitated Spider-Man on many occasions. In this reality, Chameleon had caused serious damage to both the lives of Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Knowing the Web Slinger's true identity, he spoiled his relationship with his current girlfriend Gwen Stacy, he hurt Aunt May, ruined Peter's reputation as a hero, and even beat him to a pulp. Finally, it was the Human Torch and Iceman who stopped him. Does he have the ability to transform into an actual chameleon? In another version of reality, hailing from Earth 9500, creators Peter David and Mike Waringo showcased the chameleon as a giant monstrous reptile. Chameleon was a shapeshifter who had the ability to physically change into his target after getting access to his or her DNA, which he usually acquires after killing said target. Chameleon had transformed into Sandman after ingesting some of the sand. This reptilian version of chameleon was introduced in 2006's Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man issue 10 and his death was shown in issue 19. Another reptilian version of Chameleon was shown in the reality of Counter-Earth or Earth TRN 583. Not just do that, there are much bigger plans in store for you. What is his memory material? How advanced is it? Chameleon's clothing might not be part of his anatomy, but it was made of this unique fabric of memory material that could reshape and recolor itself as and when Chameleon morphed into his targets. It was first triggered by his computer belt buckle, but later when his skin pigmentation and epidermis were surgically and mutagenically altered, it was just his willpower that changed his outfit as well. I know you're actually the chameleon, but I just can't accept it. Is the Red Skull his actual father? In the 1994 Spider-Man animated series which represented Earth 92131, Chameleon has been shown to be the stepson of the Red Skull. He started his criminal career with his father's invention of a utility belt that allowed him to imbibe the appearance of anybody he wished. At some point, Red Skull and Captain America were trapped inside a vortex during a battle and preserved for a long span of 50 years, during which Chameleon became a popular international criminal. His first defeat at the hands of Spider-Man was at the time when he was hired by an international organization to assassinate two United Nations diplomats. Following the defeat, Chameleon was imprisoned for some time until Kingpin took him out to form his Insidious Six 
to eliminate Spider-Man. After the Six disbanded, Chameleon began working for Kingpin's son, Richard Fisk. The two orchestrated plans to frame Spider-Man for stealing restricted government information, failing which, the two were taken into custody. Shortly before being apprehended, Dr. Herbert Landon infused Chameleon with a techno-organic virus, which granted him the ability to morph without the help of any utility belt. Marvelous verdict. So we come to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed the content. Chameleon is probably one of those rare characters whose alternate versions had extreme variations. His many iterations covered from being a skilled human to even being a reptile. Fans throughout the world have been waiting to watch the Insidious Six assemble to take down Spider-Man, and so we can only hope the MCU plans on executing this soon. It would be very interesting to watch Chameleon, Scorpion, and a better Rhino in live action movies as the chance should appear after the dig into the multiverse. A detailed origin of Chameleon might just create better depth for the character too. But with that said, we would like to end today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next marvellous video. And of course, if you liked the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.